The NBA season has returned to action, and of course we saw a couple of debuts. You know, there was DeMarcus Cousins with the New Orleans Pelicans. There was Lou Williams with the Houston Rockets, and then there was Terrence Ross with the Orlando Magic. But before we get into the games, we do have a couple of interesting trash talk stories, plus a little update on Ben Simmons. So let's just get right into it. JaVale McGee and Shaquille O'Neal went at each other last night on Twitter. I guess it all started when Inside the NBA released a film of JaVale McGee's lowlights that made McGee feel some type of way. So he went to Twitter and then this happened. I'm just gonna shut up now though and let you guys read. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> JaVale finally stood up for himself and I thought it was hilarious. Who do you guys think won this Twitter war though? And now it's time for some real trash. It wasn't a Twitter war, just some NBA audio that wasn't supposed to be picked up. Take a look. Chasing that farewell tour, they don't love you like that. By 17, by 46, is that 144.98? Victory here in Chasing that farewell tour, they don't love you like that. You can't get no farewell tour. They don't love you like that. You ain't got that type of love. You thought you was Kobe. I found that to be kind of funny, but you know, Paul Pierce isn't the type of guy to go down without swinging. I'm not quite sure if he responded in the game because we didn't get any audio from Paul Pierce, but he sure did respond on Twitter after the game with this. 73 wins and you thought you was gonna win a title that year. 3-1. Oops. Apparently players on other teams won't let the Warriors forget that they blew a 3-1 lead either, which which is great, which is which is hilarious. And I know some people are gonna get mad at Jamon or whatever for this and take Paul Pierce's side, which is fine. You know, no problem with that at all. But I'm happy Green did it. I love to see this type of competitive trash talk happen. You know, it makes the NBA games even more interesting. And to be honest, I wish there was an option to watch games with like some type of live in-game trash talk feature so we could get more of this. A report that came out a while ago that said Sixers head coach Brett Brown expected Ben Simmons to play this year sometime after the All-Star break, you know, around the beginning of March maybe. Well, that might not be the case anymore as it appears that the Jones fracture he suffered in his foot isn't completely healed yet. And I know some of you are going to be disappointed by this because you want to see what he can actually do. And I'm a bit disappointed too. But this is a very serious injury. KD tried to rush his comeback from the same thing and it just wound up making it worse. So it'll probably be for the best if he just misses his first season to make sure he undergoes a full recovery. And that's about it for the news though. Now let's get into the games from last night. Alright, so the most anticipated game from last night was without a doubt the Pelicans versus the Rockets. The first time Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins play together that's not on Team USA or the All-Star team. And Adian Cousins played well. You know, you kind of got what you would expect from the both of them. Davis had 29 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 blocks. And Cousins had 27 points, 14 rebounds, 5 assists, 5 steals, and 4 blocks. An absolutely monstrous game but no one else on the team did anything and they couldn't stop the firepower of the Rockets. 129 to 99 was the final score and the Houston Rockets bench outscored the starters. I'm telling you guys, this bench is absolutely deadly. Back at the beginning of the season, their weakness was James Harden coming off the court, but now uh, not so much. Lou Williams had 27 points in 25 minutes in his first action for Houston, and Eric Gordon had 19 off the bench as well. You know, having that much firepower on your bench just doesn't seem fair. James Harden didn't even have to score much. He only had 13 points, but did have 14 assists. Wait just a minute here. Hold up. What team was that out there playing against the Nuggets last night? Now, Kings fans, don't get too excited just yet. It was a really good game for you guys, all right, but it was just one game, keep that in mind. But that being said, dang. Willie Cauley Stein, he was still brought off the bench for some reason, but I do not think he will be there for long. He was the new 
DeMarcus Cousins last night as he dropped 29 points and grabbed 10 rebounds in the Kings 116 to 100 victory over the Nuggets. That's one guy Sacramento fans can for sure be excited about. Newly acquired Buddy Heald showed some of that promise last night too as he had one of his better games in his rookie year. He had 16 points on 6 of 10 shooting and the reacquired Tyreek Evans also did work off the bench. He had 15 points. Keep your eyes on this team guys. I don't expect them to keep winning like this but look out for Willie Cauley Stein especially. He might start making some noise in the league. The Warriors spotted the Clippers a 12 point halftime lead after being outscored 37 to 18 in the second quarter. And then in the third quarter, the Warriors went full out 2K17 extra cheese mode, dropping 50 points in the third quarter. Yo, that is insane and kind of disheartening to know that at any moment they can just drop 50 in a quarter. I mean, some teams struggle to drop 50 points in a half. And the Warriors wound up taking the 123 to 113 win. 35 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 steals for Curry. And Durant had 25 points, 15 rebounds, and 7 assists to lead Golden State. Austin Rivers had 19 points for LA. And DeAndre Jordan had 17 points and 11 rebounds. The Cavaliers finished their season sweep of the New York Knicks last night with a 119 to 104 victory. LeBron James had yet another triple-double last night with 18 points, 15 assists, and 13 rebounds. You know, just some quick light work for him, I guess. And Kyrie had 23 points, and Korver continues to find his rhythm in Cleveland with 20 points off the bench. Courtney Lee led the Knicks with 25 points, but LeBron wasn't going to let him forget who he was, as he kind of had to spoil Courtney's best game as a Knick with one of his patented chase-down blocks. Uh, Carmelo had 20 points on 9 of 25 shooting. I thought it was all over for my Pistons up until the fourth quarter when KCP went Super Saiyan God mode and the Hornets shot like 19% from the field. I mean the Pistons were down 15 headed into the fourth and they had just about nothing going for them. And then they outscored Charlotte 30-15 to in the fourth led by like I said KCP who scored the final 11 points for Detroit including a game tying 3 with 18 seconds left to send it to OT. You know, some of y'all don't believe me when I say KCP is the best player on the Pistons so far this season, or when I say that Reggie had to go, but you know, unfortunately, he's still here. He had an amazing four points and four assists in his 20 minutes of play though. And the Pistons got the OT comeback win, 114 to 108. KCP finished with 33 points and nine rebounds. Tobias Harris at 25 off the bench and Ish Smith with 16 assists off the bench for Detroit. Kemba Walker was doing his best for the Hornets though. It's just, you know, no one else could make a shot. He had 34 points. Like the Pistons, Portland used a big fourth quarter to come back and beat the Magic last night, 112 to 103. And like I said, it was outscoring the Magic 35 to 18 in the fourth quarter that did it. They also spoiled Terrence Ross's debut. And he kind of looked like, well, you know, the same guy that he was back in Toronto. He had 13 points on four of 17 shooting. Damian Lillard scored 17 of his 33 points in the fourth quarter to key the Blazers comeback. CJ McCollum also chipped in with 22 points and Yusuf Nurkic had 12 points and 12 rebounds in his second game as a Blazer. Uh, Nikola Vucevic had 25 points for Orlando. And that about wraps up all the action from day 122 of the 2016-2017 NBA season and now it's time to get into the player of the day. And quick disclaimer, I know a lot of you guys are new here, but only players whose team won are eligible to win player of the day. Just a heads up. And here are today's nominees. You have Kevin Durant in his 25 points, 15 rebounds, 7 assists. LeBron James in his 18 points, 15 assists, 13 rebounds. Damian Lillard in his 33 points, including 17 in the fourth quarter. Willie Colley Stein in his 29 points and 10 rebounds. Or Contavious Caldwell Pope in his 33 points, 9 rebounds, and the final 11 points for Detroit. You guys can go vote right now. The link to the poll will be in the description box below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like on it if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more daily NBA recaps. And until tomorrow, keep getting the bucks team SDC and I'm out of here. Peace!